And then also, you, you, can't, you can't tell other people's kids not to do stuff. Right. So you got to kind of like be loudly like, hey, he's climbing up on the utility pole and kind of <laughs> hope that somebody does something. Well, back in the day, you could yell at people's kids. And I think that that needs to come back. And that's what's holding back this country. Yeah. 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 How have you been and what have you been doing? Oh, man, nothing compared to you. Congratulations on young Harry. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, he's I a good boy, that. I nice understand. Fella. Yeah. You yeah. have a son also? I have a son, yeah, a little older. He's, uh, I want to say... <laughs> <laughs> he's 10 or 15. Yeah. The point is this. <laughs> you, I want to give you a little advice. Yeah. First of all, they get less cute. Oh, see, I, yeah. And uh, you got to, when they're young, you got to do certain things. For instance, because you love your child mm -hmm. more than anything, right. obviously. And uh, when I was young and I had uh, my little boy, Dagwood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the name is Dagwood. I named him after the literary uh, figure, Dagwood Bumpstead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, his name is Dylan. Dylan's Named name. after uh, Dylan, Thomas Dylan Thomas because my father uh, read me uh, a, 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 a Child's Christmas in Wales every Christmas. Mm. So when, you're, when the kid's young, uh, as Dylan was, I used to play basketball with Great. him. And I would always let him win because I figured that was the thing to do as a father. Mm -hmm. Now he's 16 years old and uh, he can beat me easily. Oh. Now he thinks that he's always been able to beat me. I told him, I said, no, no, I used to let you win. He's like, no. Mm. So my advice is, beat the hell out of Harry. While I can. While you can. Yeah. Not sure that I can even now. There's a little boy right there. How old are you, buddy? How old? 18? Shut the f*** up. Your balls haven't even dropped yet. There's no way you're 18. 18. Is that the age you're supposed to be? I mean, in here, I mean, you're 18. Does, the, does your body know about it? You look like you're nine. Who are you with tonight? Hmm? Your parents, okay. So mom and dad, you, is he really 18? What the f happened, is he okay? Man, what's your name? Sheil? Wow. It's amazing, Sheil. And does he always look like a child? Like when he was born, was he just a sperm or something? Was he... The doctor, congratulations, it's a boy. Bro, he look younger. Did we get a shot of him already? Because he looks. Look at that. Hey, look, hey. You don't even have your first mustache yet. That's that's an Indian right up. Every all the girls in here have them already, and you don't. You got a girlfriend? You don't. Want, you don't want to say because your parents are right there. Have you been? Giving him the shield meal. <laughs> How you doing? What's your name, sir? Walt. Walt? I know what the fuck Walt is. <laughs> have people had problems with your name before, sir? I understand if your name is like Ahmed or something like that. Like, like, Ahmed, like, you're getting something out of your throat. Like, ha, ha, you know. <laughs> Miss, what is your name? Andrea. Andrea. See how it just stopped after that? <laughs> A normal introduction. <laughs> how long have you guys been married? 17 years? That's beautiful. They don't care, but that's beautiful. That... <laughs> Do you guys have any kids? No kids at all? That's what I'm talking about, Walt. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, Walt. Pull out King right here, bro. Every time Walt pulls out, like, we ain't going to Disney World at all. So 
So really, so you guys made a decision early on, said we're not having any kids. Were your parents okay with that? They were upset. Your name is Andrea. Are you Italian? What, what are you? You don't know? You're Russian? It's Russian. So your Russian parents were like, you have to have more kids. You have to, you must have kids. That's the whole thing about your culture. Even the dolls are like, look, there's more, right? Like, it's like they put that in you early on. They're like, this is your purpose in life. Look what you do, more and more and more. Get smaller, smaller, smaller. <laughs> so mom got pissed off. Is she still pissed off? Now, here's the thing that's interesting to me. The mom gets pissed off. She says, I want you to have kids, right? But what she's really saying is, I want Walt to come in you. <laughs> She's not saying it, but she is just like, leave it inside, leave it inside, right? Like, <laughs> Did she ever sit you down, Walt? Never once? Put it in her magic kingdom. <laughs> you ever see kids and think, man, it'd be cool? Never once. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people in here with kids, they're looking at you like, she was right. She was, she was fucking right. I'm paying $45 for a babysitter who's probably molesting them right now. <laughs> hey Walt, you didn't want any kids? You just wanted toys? You want the kids' toys? This is one creepy motherfucker. Man. Is that why you're not having kids with him? Because he might like kids too much. <laughs> if he's playing with their toys, what would we do with them? No, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Fun is a very difficult job. The reason why I say that is because kids don't know how to shut fun off. Kids think fun lasts forever. I'm gonna tell you the scariest shit in the world for a man to see after a long day at work. Long day at work, you get home, you put your key in the door, you open up that door real slow. Scariest shit in the world for a man to see is that baby with all that energy on the other side. Oh yeah! Daddy home, it's time to play. I want to play, Daddy. I've been taking naps with Mommy all day. I want to play that game when you try to close your eyelids and I keep opening them back up. Oh, yeah. It's time to play, Daddy. I'll make a bet. I'll make a bet right now that every man in this room that has a child has done what I'm about to say at least one time. At least one time. Long day working in your car, you're driving home. You pull in your driveway. When you pull in your driveway, that baby with all that energy runs to the window, opens up the blinds. Oh yeah! <laughs> Daddy home, it's time to play. You see the baby in the blinds, the baby see you. You and the baby are looking at each other. You locked eyes with the goddamn baby. You staring at the baby, the baby staring at you and you back out the driveway. <laughs> you back out the goddamn driveway. Fuck that baby today. I'd rather go back to work and throw boxes at the goddamn wall and deal with that baby today. Where you going, daddy? Fuck you, baby. <laughs> Fuck you, baby. You're only laughing because it's true. How was your summer? What'd you oh, do? Man. Anything good? It was great. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I went, I have a little boy, you know. How old's your son? He's six years old. Oh, that's great. I want to say six. 
and he's a, a, a lot of fun. I do things with him, you know? We play and stuff. What do you do? What kind of things? I took him to Disney World. Well, there you go. Down in Florida. You right. ever go there? I've never been there, no. Well, you don't have, you're a baron. Not baron, but you're right, a right, I'm baron. That's right, I'm, I'm, I'm baron. I'm uh, infertile. Only That's ladies. Right. I can't possibly have children. No, no, I, I didn't mean that. I mean, you don't have children. I don't have any yeah. currently, yeah. no. Baron. No. <laughs> so, but I got to tell you, man, if you ever have kids, I hope you yeah. will, then you should take Have you been place. talking to somebody at the lab, Norm? <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, but Disney World is a yeah, beautiful place. Yeah, so you, you took get your, to see... What's uh, your son's name, Timmy? Little Dylan. Little oh, Dylan. Yeah, Dylan. yeah, yeah. Dylan. Really. Name, name for uh, Bob Dylan? Yeah, I named him for Bob Dylan, and I thought, hey, man, nobody's going to be named Dylan. That's a cool name, because when I was a kid, I always read Dylan... Uh, uh, what's Thomas? It? Dylan Thomas, a, ch uh, a Child's Christmas and Well. Yeah. And uh, so I said, hey, that, nobody will have that name. And then everybody has that name because they, that, they had that ki kid on uh, a 90210. This is too long, right? <laughs> well, you know, after that discussion of my fertility, I don't much care. <laughs> The point is, he's a good, well-behaved boy, and I took him to Disney World there. We had a lot of fun, my God. We went to the, uh, they have the new thing. They, you know, usually they have the goofy uh, uh, Pluto, you know, the regular uh, characters, but they also have actual animals in a safari park. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Wild, dangerous jungle beast. Yeah, and yeah. you take your child through and you see, and it's a lot of fun, except they don't tell you. They, they're not wearing any pants. <laughs> you know, like Goofy and Pluto, right? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Well, Goofy, you know how... You what never, in the world are you talking about? <laughs> you know when you see Mickey Mouse, right? Mickey Mouse is a cartoon he's, character. He's always got some trousers. He always on. has pants on, right. that's right. Right. Well, the, the dangerous uh, lion and elephant, right. they have no because pants on Because those are all. real, actual living beings. Right. They're but, not animated cartoon characters. Exactly, but I'm a living being. I don't want my child to see my, you know, uh, thing, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't want my child. It's fine for you Completely and me. different species, Norm. A but, completely different species. Still, it's a whole different deal, my friend. I'm not offended by it myself. <laughs> but children ask questions, and you have to go, what's that thing there between the uh, elephant? A big, giant, god-awful-looking thing? Sounds like you have a very special child, Norm. Uh, no. Maybe you find it very attractive. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't find it attractive. It's just I don't see it as a problem. It's just like, it's a, it's a rhinoceros, Eddie. What? It's just a rhinoceros. Right, That's but all what you would you say. say is the thing that... I, I just say it's, 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 some, it's, it's his it's wallet. His... It's where he... <laughs> it's where he keeps his... It's a shaving kit. That's yeah. where he keeps his... Some change and a comb. Yeah. Maybe if you had a few more dollars in your wallet, you'd have a kid. Ooh. Ooh. I was joking. Now you're, you're joking. Now you're joking. Now you're joking. No, because I heard I was trying to make it. Yeah, you trying to make go. Huh? Right I bet you will have a nice kid one day. Oh, you'd yeah, be a I'll great father. That'd be fun. I'd like to have a kid. You'd be a good I hope man. Turns out just like you. Oh. <laughs> You hate me now because of the stuff about your testicles. <laughs> Norm, Norm, I love you. I, couldn't, I couldn't be more flattered when guests come on the show and discuss my testicles. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> oh, no.